What's going on guys? Welcome to another video from the Andy Guitar Band Program. This is where we learn a set of songs and then you get to play them along to my band, the Andy Guitar Band, with the intention of giving you guys that band feeling of jamming along with a real live band and hopefully you will then play along to plenty of other band videos of your favourite bands on YouTube and also perhaps start or join your own band. I'm really excited to bring this to you guys. Um, this is Teenage Kicks. This has to be one of the most covered songs, especially here in the UK. And it's fairly straightforward to play and straightforward for a band to learn. Um, this is the sound that I have. Um, this is going through the Boss Katana. On the band recording, I was using my Victory Sheriff 22. Uh, I just stayed on the volume one setting with the volume, which doubles up as the gain set at about 10 o'clock. So, so that would be around four out of 10, I guess. And then on the Boss Katana, I'm on the crunch setting and the gain is set somewhere similar to that as well. And about a four out of 10. For the solo, I use the TS-808 Tube Screamer, which is often the case on many of these band songs, and that's exactly what I'm going to be replicating on the Boss Katana as well. We have this feature where we can add a booster pedal on the amp and then change between those settings on a foot pedal as well. It's really cool. So we can play this riff in two different ways. I was playing it with root 5 power chords for the beginning part of it. Thomas, the other guitarist in the Andy Guitar Band, was playing it with root six chords throughout the whole thing. Either way, whichever one of those two ways you choose to do it, and you can see both of those ways being shown in the kind of the closest thing I can find to the original music video anyway. You can see both guitarists playing it one way and then the other. But after that, as soon as we go to the A chord... We have that section which has to be played root 6. Uh, you might see me do some other things, occasionally hit some open chords. That's because I really like the twang of open strings. And we do have uh, a certain amount of artistic license. Whenever you're in a cover band, um, you can sort of find the way that you prefer to play any song. And I think that's highly encouraged, especially as you go further and further down this, this line. You want to try and replicate things authentically at first and always be able to do that with any songs. But then... You know, go off and do your own thing and add your own artistic stamp onto things. That's part of this journey. Um, so I guess the most kind of punk rock way to do it, uh, the most punk thing to do would be to stay on root six chords all the time. So that is 10th fret. This is the way that Thomas played it. 10th fret uh, bar chord, essentially. And then um, that's a major bar chord, and then to a minor bar chord at the 9th fret, and then the B minor chord at the 7th fret. Or just doing the power chord versions of those and not barring at all, perhaps just muting the, uh, the thinnest three strings. That's the power chord way. chord way and then and then we have the root 5 uh, way which I was playing and mainly sticking to throughout that's like this that we should really go to the G and A chord at 5th fret and 3rd fret as power chords. When I was with the band, as I say, I like the clang of open strings an awful lot. That's kind of my jam. So uh, 
um, I chose to play it like that to try and give that bigger sound. It's really common that guitarists might, uh, when there's the same riff, you might play them two slightly different ways. Quite a common ACDC thing with Malcolm and Angus uh, playing two, the same riff two slightly different ways. It's quite common, maybe with the different amounts of overdrive and that kind of thing. Um, that's just what I chose to do, but what I would recommend for you guys... Because the weird bit is we actually change uh, between the chords often on an up strum. It's a weird one, we change before, uh, before beat one. So we start off on the beat, three, four, down, down, three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two. To finish it off. And that's the whole thing. Let me do it one more time. And four and one, two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three and four. And And it cycles on from there. We have two rounds of this, that being one, and then we'd always go to, to uh, the G chord, only ever on the lyrics. I wanna hold her, wanna hold her tight, get teenage. That's the only time it ever goes there. Let's have a play along with the band just of that section. So we're gonna loop that first riff until the lyrics, I wanna hold her, wanna hold her tight. And that is when you go to the G. It would be four times in total. We're gonna to play along to the band now. This is the unique thing about this series. You're gonna have that feeling of joining in, but you, we're gonna be starting off with a 75% tempo. This is something that you can do yourself with the YouTube slowing down feature, but I've done this for you already. Uh, and then we'll work up to full tempo by the end of this video. See if you can join in. It'd be great if you can, if not, it's not expected that everybody will be able to jump straight in and play along to the live recordings unless you've got experience of that already. So work up to it if you're not ready for that yet and come back to this video again and again until you can. But here it is for those who, or at least for you to see it the first time and then have a go at playing along. 75% speed, just the intro and the first verse. So there you go, I hope you had fun with that. I hope you could play along. If you couldn't, you can revisit this video, you can pause it, you can practice. That's the main purpose of this whole series, to give you guys a practice routine, a purpose, a set of songs to learn and keep coming back to until you get it right and then until you can't get it wrong. That's how you know to ready 
you know you're ready to play with a real band. Um, so the only other section to that from a rhythm point of view is just the ending because over the solo there's a secondary rhythm part that's still keeping Okay, that's still going until the ending. The ending, there's a rhythm part. I wanna hold her, wanna hold her tight. Get teenage kicks right through the night. All right, here we go. That would be the by, I'd call it by the book. That was how I, I believe it's played on the original. So that was D, D, G, G, A, A, D. Now, because I just played the solo, and uh, just for my preference, how, how I would cover this in a cover band, um, I took a little bit of artistic license. So I just played the solo. And then hit a G chord like this, a G5, just to give a clang of those open strings, because that's my preference. And an A chord with one finger, like an A power chord and then playing it with open chords. D, D, G, G, A, A, D. Finishing off, as we do a lot in this series, with a, a D power chord. And that is how I'd play it to be able to do a drag down, okay? So that should enable you to play all rhythm sections of this song and we'll have a full play along with the band in one second. I'm just going to cover the solo now for those of you that want to have a go at this. Let's have a look at the solo now, uh, which I played a little bit differently after hearing the recording again and again and again while kind of mixing this song and, and studying it to make sure I teach it right. I think... <laughs> So this is in the D minor pentatonic position, starting at 10th fret. And the notes go. So this begins with picking the 10th fret twice with the first finger, either the third and little finger down or just the third finger down, playing the other two notes that would make up a D power chord. And then the middle two strings, the G and the D, also at the 10th fret. So it's kind of like, kind of like a D uh, minor chord. And then pairs of notes or double stops out of the D minor pentatonic. And then a unison bend, which is where we bend this note, the 12th fret, up to the pitch of this note. So we're bending the G up to the pitch of an A and playing an A at the same time on strings three and two. Letting that bend drop and then sliding down to the next position. exactly the same move uh, for the second part but we're at the seventh fret on that B minor one last time here we go two three four finish that with the G uh, 5 chord so like an open chord G with all fingers but without the first one and then going to an A so that we could play the easy ending 
because I really like the clunk of the open strings. That was just my preference of how to play that song. Perhaps the more authentic way to do all the song. <laughs> thing, root six, and then we get those open strings as we move power chords. So the third and little finger, we can get that kind of thing happening. It's definitely audible on the recording. Uh, as I say, you can play either way. It's a punk song, so you sort of play it however you want to do it, power chords, uh, major chords, it's all good. The power of this whole course is we have a bit of artistic license because we're doing covers. You can do this the way that you feel it should be done and the way you feel most comfortable doing it. So now's the really fun bit, hopefully. You're gonna play along to my band, I guess we're calling them the Andy Guitar Band for want of a better name. Uh, not Andy and the Dandies or anything. Um, not yet anyway, it will be now I've said that, won't it? Uh, but yeah, we're going to play along to the band. This is going to be full speed, so up to 100% tempo. However, you get the choice to slow it down if you need to by using that feature on YouTube uh, that moves the recording or the video to 75% speed and working up to full tempo as soon as you feel ready and as soon as you feel comfortable. We don't expect anyone to be able to go from never playing along to a full song ever to playing along to these full recordings at first attempt. It will take practice. It will take numerous attempts at going through to this. Study the video recording first of all, see how you wanna do it, get, you know, be aware of the sections, remember how the song goes, work on your musical memory, and you'll, you will be helped by the visuals at every step along the way because you'll be able to see my guitar at the bottom of the screen at all times so you'll be in no doubt what I would recommend that you guys play because we, we will be playing it slightly differently. Here it comes, hope you have a lot of fun. Here's Teenage Kicks. So uh, the Brit we're doing the Britney Spears one, yeah? <laughs> Every time she walks down the street 
So that's Teenage Kicks, one of my favourites, a great cover band staple. Uh, I hope you'll work up to being able to play along to that full recording and perhaps come back to the solo later on in this course or when you've got a little bit more um, lead guitar experience behind you. But for power chords, you could play along or the rhythm part to the whole song. You know, that should be really doable for most of you. And I hope you enjoy playing along to the rest of the set that I have planned with you guys. And you can check out more videos in this Andy Guitar Band series right now.